Hey, what's going on in your choice? How's everybody's day doing? Hope everybody's having a great day today. So, we got some news. CNN, bunch of scums, right? Yeah, they are. Listen to this article. It's going it's, it's, it's to make you guys cringe a little bit. Jeff Z resigned on Monday, Wednesday as president of CNN and the chairman of Warner Media News and Sports Division writing in a memo that he had failed to disclose to the company and romance relationship with other senior advices at CNN. Mr. Z is 56 among the most powerful readers in the American media and television industries. The part and end of his nine year of remain throws him the flex and the, the, the decision of CNN and its pardoned Pardent company, Warner Media, which explains to be acquired later this year by Discovery Inc. and one of the nation's largest media managers. So, in the memo of the McCullough's that was obtained by New York Times, Mrs. Z wrote that his relationship came out during a network in the, in the, in the investigation into the contact of Chris Como. The CNN anchor who was fired in um, December over his involvement in the political, political affairs of his brother, former Governor Chris Cuomo of New York. As a part of the, in the, in the investigation into Chris Cuomo at CNN, it was, I was asked about his relationship with my closest colleague, someone I work with more than 20 years. Mrs. Z wrote, I acknowledge that the relationship involved in recent years, I was required to disclose it's, it, it, it when it began, but I didn't. Wow, this guy, this Jeff Z. Tucker is a scumbag. God, the, the, whole, the whole CNN platform vision is a bunch of scumbag anchors. You know, Chris Como is one of them. He's, he's one of the biggest... Phonies out there, man. These guys in CNN should be shameful of themselves. They're spreading false information to people. And people listen. People tune in. People tune in every day in CNN. I, I think CNN and Fox News, both of them companies, are just brainwashing people every day. Especially CNN. They want to be like, oh, Trump bad, Trump bad. Okay, we get it. But how about Joe Biden? Is Joe Biden doing good? No. No, no, Joe Biden's not doing good. See, I'm I'm glad I'm glad he's stepping down. So, the new guy coming and seeing them, he's going to clean that mess up that the, the false information they spread in seeing them, or it's going to be the same old seeing them for years. Me seeing them, listen. If you guys listen to seeing them, I hope you guys bring the new person in who want men or women. To clean you guys' messes up. You guys, you guys need new anchors. You guys need new platforms. You guys need to tell the truth. You, you guys act like you guys tell the truth for the scene, man. But you guys don't. You guys want to spread false, false information about everybody over there. In the scene, man. Like, oh yeah, here. It's a script. You know, like, they don't care about medical for all. They don't care about the homeless people. They don't care about nobody. They just care about their viewers and their ratings. That's in the money, too. That's what they care about. They're spreading false, in, false information every day, many, many years. See, this Jeff Z guy, it, he know about Como. He know about him. And he rehired him. Oh, Chris, you're rehired. I know we fired in December about you covering up your brother. We're covering up your brother, too. And you're back on CNN. No, no. Listen. Come on, got fired. He should be fired, period. I, I don't get it over there in CNN. I really don't. He's CNN and Chris Como are, are the scumbags. Are scumbags to the American people. They are. They are people. If somebody gets fired for a job, like your person, they got fired. They're not going to come back. So, yeah, I mean, well, because you're not Chris Coleman's brother. <laughs> wow.
wow, Andrew Como and Chris Como are just, but listen, both of them are just really, really scumbags, like, especially Chris. I don't watch Chris Como because he's an idiot. Comes up there and be like, oh yeah, my brother, my brother's, he's one of the best governors in New York. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Guys, this is, guys, listen people, do you, do your research on Chris Como and, and, and Andrew Como because the Como brothers are a bunch of idiots. Okay, another thing, Chris. How you got how you got your job in the CNN? Because your brother. There you go, because your brother, Andrew Como. The last name because the last name of Como. That's how you got your job. And you suck at it. You really suck at your job, Chris. And I hope the new person comes in and fires you immediately. Nope, Chris, you're fired. We're, we're not bringing you back. We're gonna clean some crap up. Like, oh yeah. Yeah, I'm not an anchor guy. We're gonna clean you up. Okay, you're fired. You're fired. We're gonna bring some new people in. That tells the truth. That absolutely tells the truth. More progressive people come in and see them. That'd be great because progressive people do tell the truth about a lot of American, about a lot of things in America are, you know, because America is a bunch of idiots. Example, because we have CNN and Fox. This this is about CNN. We can talk about Fox later on the new on another day, but seeing them, they're brainwashing people. They're brain, they are they're spreading false information about everything. But we we in the war. We haven't in the war. Biden still has troops in there over there in, the, in, in over there in the middle Middle East. He didn't withdraw completely. <clears throat> he did a little bit. There's some kudos. He did a little bit. Seeing them act like Joe Biden pull all the troops out, he didn't. See, that's the point. Seeing them, see, he's, seeing them so tells the truth, but reality, they don't tell the truth to the people. They tell lies, false information. You know what? I'm glad. I'm glad this scumbag Jeff Z is getting resigned. I'm, I'm glad he's resigning. Of his duties of seeing them because he needs to get the heck out of there. He's part of the toxic group. There's a lot of toxic people. He's not the only one. He's not the only toxic person in seeing them. There's a lot. You got Chris Como. You got some other anchors of seeing them. Let me know better anchors of seeing them. I bet there's probably toxic too, like Chris Como is. Um, guys, we need we need better people in seeing them. We need a change in seeing them. Like, oh yeah, Fox, we're changing. We speak the truth now. We need that. But now, um, right now, CNN's are a bunch of liars, okay? Uh, another thing, this is my concern. Are we going to get a new person that is going to, like, change the whole platform of CNN? Are we going to get the same old person come in, like, Jeff Z? Same old CNN, tell the false information to the American people, and the American people are going to tune in, watch CNN, or, I don't know, let me know guys, let me know in the comments, before I take off, listen, Chris Como, this is for you buddy, you are a scumbag like your brother, okay, your brother Andrew Como, is a pig. He so he he really actually Andrew Como did this, and it came out there, and he made it. Well, some of his people, well, he some of his people made it. Some of these girls made it. And he sexually raped them. Andrew Como sexually raped those women in his office, and you, Chris Como, would defend your brother. Oh, you, my brother didn't do it. He's a good person. Dude, these women, Chris, came out there like, yeah, Andrew Como sexually abused me. I don't want to say too much details, but that's the truth. And you want to play softball on your brother? Dude, I don't care if my, if, if my, if my family member is in office. I'll throw some hard balls at him. I'll throw some hard questions on him. You know, 
they do sexually abuse them. And he's going to lie. You know, people are going to lie. No, I didn't sexually abuse those women in my office. And you, you did, dude. You did. Come on. Because he did. Admit it. He did. Oh, yeah. He, okay, my brother did. But no, Andrew won't, no, Chris wants to softball his brother every time Andrew comes on seeing Nick. And that, that's the point of seeing Nick. They don't ask the hard questions. They ask the easy questions like, well, this and this and this. Joe Biden's a great president. Joe Biden's not a great president. Okay, so is Trump. Okay, Trump's not a great president either. I think both of them are idiots. But you have to throw, you have to, yeah, CNN, you have to be like this. Yeah. But then didn't draw all the troops out. Wow, CNN just... Then, wow, CNN just told the truth. They need to tell the truth. And they, they want more viewers. If CNN keeps going their old ways, then they're going to get less viewers, less viewers, and less. If they change and tell the truth, you air in CNN, you'd be like, oh yeah, CNN's telling the truth. What's what's tuning in? Screw Fox, what's tuning tuning CNN? CNN's telling the truth now. It's gonna be a shock for a lot of people, like me, if CNN tells the truth now. But with, with this new error, who is coming in. Yeah. Guys, Chris Como, Andrew Como, all the Como people. We got these scumbags. Um, I'm glad Jeff is resigning in the day. That's my final point. I'm um, seeing in these new change. Um, I hope that I hope that a person does better. Um, it's a 50 50 chance. I'm not going to put that. I'm like, oh yeah, he's going to be better. It's 50 50 right now. He can be like, oh yeah, we're going to tell the truth. Oh no, we're going to sing, keep the same old seeing in false information news. Could do that. All right, y'all. Make sure you hit that sub button. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that bell button. Because YouTube be not showing my videos. And, and that's kind of weird. All right, guys. Nerd Troy out.